let's solve the problem of initial conditions we see. We have a differential equation and an initial condition. We have to try to find out the function that satisfies the differential equation and fulfills the initial condition. To begin with, we have to solve the differential equation. We have y apostrophe times x plus y equals zero. Let's move the y to the other side as minus y. So y apostrophe times x equals minus y. Y apostrophe is the derivative of y respect x times x equals minus y. Now let's move this dx multiplying and this y dividing. We would have the derivative of y divided by y equals the minus the dx goes multiplying and the x dividing. So we have a differential equation with separate variables because we've put the y on one side of the equal and the x on the other one. Integrating everything we would have the integral of d y divided by y equals the integral of minus dx divided by x. The integral of dy divided by y is the natural logarithm of y equals the minus goes out of the integral and we would have the minus natural logarithm of x plus c, the constant value we always have when integrating with no limits. The minus is as if we had a minus 1 here, so this would be the logarithm of y equals applying the logarithm properties minus 1 times the logarithm of x is the same as the logarithm of x raised to minus 1 plus c. If the logarithm of y is this we have here, y would be equal the logarithm goes to the other part as exponential, so e raised to the logarithm of x raised to minus 1 plus c. Using the exponential properties, we would have e raised to the first term times e raised to the second one. As e and the logarithm are contrary, we would just have x raised to minus 1 and now e raised to a constant this is c we know that e will always be bigger than 0 so let's call e raised to c k which is also a constant term bigger than 0 so this is equal to k divided by x so the solution would be y of x equals k divided by x where k is bigger than 0 now we could derivate this and substitute it in the differential equation to see if it fits in it but let's use the initial condition to find out the value of k and obtain the particular solution of this problem. The initial condition is that y of 1 is 2 and put in a 1 where the excess on the function y 
we would have k divided by 1. This means that k is equal to, and the solution for the given problem with initial conditions would be y of x equals 2 divided by x.